In this video, we are going to examine if JWST data can help solve the mystery surrounding Tabby's star. This star came to the attention of the public because it was shown from Kepler Space Telescope data to exhibit unusual dimming characteristics which some scientists speculated could be caused by megastructures built by an advanced extraterrestrial civilization. Tabby's star, designated as KIC 8462852 in the Kepler Input Catalog, is an F-type main sequence star. About 1,470 light years away in the constellation of Cygnus. The Kepler Space Telescope had observed 150,000 stars for periodic dipping that occurs when a planet passes in front of the star, blocking a portion of starlight from our point of view. Planets are typically much smaller than their host stars and will block a small percentage of starlight. A planet as large as Jupiter will cause 1% reduction in brightness. What was unusual about the dimming associated with Tabby's star was that it was enormous and irregular, sometimes as large as 20% reduction in brightness. In addition to Kepler data, it was shown through the use of photographic plates that the star had dimmed substantially over a 100-year period. Over the years, several hypotheses have been proposed to explain the light curves displayed by Tabby's star. These hypotheses range from a flock of comets blocking starlight, an uneven dust cloud, to the building of megastructures by extraterrestrials such as Dyson spheres or Dyson swarms to harvest starlight. Some of these explanations do not fully account for all observations. For instance, the mass of comets required to build enough material to block that amount of starlight is much more than we have in the Kuiper belt, thus making this explanation highly unlikely. An uneven dust cloud was proposed to explain dimming over several years' time frame because it was shown that ultraviolet light from the star dimmed more than infrared light. Objects larger than dust will dim all forms of light equally. Link in the description below. Thus, megastructures were ruled out as the cause of longer period dimming. Nevertheless, these authors did not address the more radical dimming events such as the one that resulted in 22% reduction of brightness. Hence, to date, no explanation accounts for all the observed phenomena. Perhaps the solution is a combination of several factors. Regardless, more observations and data are needed. So, the question is, can JWST solve this puzzle that has baffled scientists for some time now? While there is no guarantee that JWST will succeed, the instrument can help astronomers eliminate or confirm some of the proposed solutions to the irregular dimming patterns of Tabby's star. For example, if there are structures that can block a significant portion of starlight, like a Dyson sphere or Dyson swarm, then the glowing heat from such structures should be detectable by JWST. Since JWST is the preeminent infrared space telescope in operation, it can help identify the type of material that is blocking light from the star from the spectral signature given off by the material. It should be able to identify shapes of objects, thereby distinguishing dust clouds from solid structures. Also, if the objects blocking starlight have angular shapes like triangles or cubes, then it might mean that these objects were built by an intelligent civilization, link in the description below. Thus, I sincerely look forward to seeing the results of JWST's examination of Tabby's star during several dimming events. To learn what the Hubble Space Telescope and JWST have seen in the TRAPPIST-1 system and the continuous search for habitable worlds, please click here and watch this 3.5 minute video. All links to articles and reports used to make this video are in the description below. Thanks for watching. Cheers!